What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure news and images for you guys. I'm very excited to bring them to you. I appreciate you joining me for this blessed Saturday morning here as we dive into these new figures, guys. And we got some new reveals. We got some first time on the line in here for a figure that I honestly am, 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 am intrigued, actually, about. So let's just, let's just shut the hell up and get into it, guys. Starting off, a basic series 110 images are leaked, guys, and we have... Mike Canellis. Mike Canellis in the flesh, in the plastic, standing here in his basic figure. And you guys can see, got the big, great smile on his face. When they first showed this figure, I actually didn't even know who it was for a second. I had to, like, think to myself. It was like, you know, I have ringside's post notifications on. So when it comes on there, I open up the thing. There's Mike Canellis. And I was like, what is this? Triple? Like, I saw a bald guy. And I was like, is this Triple H? And I was like, that's not. Tri oh, my God. It's Mike Canellis. And then I thought to myself, isn't Mike Canellis released from the company? I thought he signed with somebody else. And then I'm tripping. I'm like, did he? I don't even. I don't even know his status with the company. But Ringside posted this figure, and apparently, Basic Series 110, we are going to be getting Mike Canellis. This head sculpt looks good, man. I'm actually intrigued by it. I think it looks good and everything. Uh, I think an elite conversion will be very simple and very cool. Maybe we can do that on action figure surgery when we finally get this. We also have a chase variant of this figure, and it is without any wrist tape on it. And you guys can see here, they showed the... You guys will notice that the back portion of the figure is the back portion of the other style basic with the wrist tape on it. So they kind of mixed up the two, if you guys would have noticed that in the last segment. It's not just white tape on the front or back. It is on both sides there, and then on this version with the tattoos, the chase variant version does not have any wrist tape on it so that's a little mix up there on the post but it still looks good i like the head sculpt i like everything going on you got the black lower legs and everything so mike canellis first time in the line basic series 110 we finally have a mike canellis really wish we would have got a battle pack with maria canellis to have you know both of them together but that is pretty cool to see mike canellis finally get his mattel action figure and the rest of this wave is pretty solid actually let's move on guys we have kofi kingston in this real icy blue attire for some reason i do not remember this attire i i honestly don't know why I don't remember this attire, but you guys can see it's got light blue knee pads. It's got a bunch of light blue and like icy gray and black. It looks really, really good. And another thing is I think this this is either his first or second basic. For some reason, it's blanking my mind. I'm sure it's been released before, but this is the first basic that's coming to my mind with a blonde streak and the Kofi hair. I'm sure, again, that it's it's already been released before in another battle pack or a basic figure before this one, but for some reason, it's just popping out to me now that this one has the blonde streak. So if that's the case, then my bad, but I did want to mention it. And I think this attire is actually really sweet. I wish this was an elite figure because it looks really badass. And it's a good head sculpt again. And I think we've already seen this head sculpt before. But if we haven't, it looks really good. I like it a lot. Moving forward with the next basic is Finn Balor. Now, this one is in the blue attire. I already have a custom elite of this figure. But this looks really good. We've seen this head sculpt before. But I do like this attire. And they didn't give him the massive knee pads. So that's cool to see if you want to take these knee pads, put them on another Finn Balor. Totally acceptable. Looks really good. I like this Finn Balor basic. Probably won't be purchasing it. I might buy it at retail when it comes out because of the smiley face head sculpt, but it's not something I'm going to seek out to order online, but it does look pretty good. Moving forward, we have another John Cena basic, and this one is completely skippable for me. It's the Elite 71 head sculpt, it looks like. It has the same exact green shirt and green armbands. I really don't know, well, I guess I do know why. It's just like, my God, uh, this figure again, I guess, because we know they want to release this figure because they want to see it on the shelves. People want to see John Cena when they go to the store. Your little kid, your little six, seven-year-old comes up. It's like, oh my God, John Cena, buy the basic. And it's, it's you know, it's good business right there. So I understand it. It's just from a collector's point of view, probably going to be very skippable to a lot of big-time collectors as myself and stuff like that. But there is John Cena. And the final figure in the set is really nice. It is a Riot Squad Liv Morgan, which is a pretty much basic version of her Elite, but it does have the pink hair. It has the white and black going on. Obviously, Obviously, Liv Morgan has been separated from the Riot Squad for a while now, but this figure does look really good. I like this Liv Morgan. This will probably be the Liv Morgan that I end up getting. I don't think I'll be able to track down her Elite, so hopefully we get a re-release Liv Morgan Elite very soon down the line because I will not be able to get her Elite. It's like very expensive online, I think, and uh, I have not seen it anywhere. I never saw it at retail. My Walmarts don't get jack shit, so I'm definitely not going to be able to get her Elite anytime soon. So this is probably what the Liv Morgan will be for me and my collection for a while, but the pink hair looks good. I like it. It looks 
pretty much like our Elite, but it, but pretty much just different colors. But I do like it. I think it looks good with the contrasting black and white. The the skin, uh, not the skin rips, but the uh, the legging rips right there look good and everything. And this figure is probably going to be really hard to stand up, but I do like it for a Liv Morgan figure. And that is it for Basic Series 110. You get Liv Morgan, Kofi, John Cena, Finn Balor, and Mike Kanellis with the first time in the line. So that is pretty cool. Moving forward, guys, we do have some more upcoming images of the brand new WWE Elite Ringside Exclusive Edge Heads 3 and 1 one action figure. As you guys can see, we have the Edge ringside exclusive, but it is in the Rated R Superstar packaging. And this packaging is sick as shit. You guys know that we're getting the Zack Ryder and the Kurt Hawkins head sculpts. And in the packaging, this thing is sick as hell. We get the Rockstar hands with the devil horns or whatever you want to call that. Texas fans are going to call it the Longhorn signature style right there. It looks it looks great, man. I love the edge on the front there. It's from his Titan Tron. You got the WWE logo, rated R Superstar logo at the top. Beautiful image of Edge on the side. I can't wait to review this thing. I I imagine it will be coming very soon. I think it comes out in either late July or early August. So I can't wait to get this thing in here and get a review going for you. One thing I will say is it is a re-release of the Elite One. Basically, I mean, yeah, you get the two interchangeable head sculpts, but this is practically the Elite One edge with interchangeable hands and true effects technology uh, applied to the face. It's not the exact attire we got with the Elite One, but it is very, very similar. I wish we could have got some red in here or a different attire, but we'll cover all of that when the figure is released. I'm just giving you my first impressions of it here in the packaging and stuff. But the packaging is really sick. I think if you got this thing autographed by Edge, that would be a really sick-ass little piece to add to somebody's collection. I actually have a World Heavyweight Championship autographed by Edge, which is really cool to see, but uh, that has nothing to do with this figure. So we're going to move the hell on and shut the hell up. So getting out of here with the ringside exclusive edge guys we do have some more images of the upcoming ultimate edition John Cena and Becky Lynch starting out with the man the goat the best of all time we have John Cena and in the packaging this thing kind of looks odd to me um, the head sculpt that is on the figure in the packaging is really, really weird. I really don't know how to describe it. It just doesn't look like John Cena to me. I don't know what it is. I love this. The yelling face is awesome. I think the smiling basic 100 series face is really sick. But the one where he's just straight faced, I don't know if it's like the jaws too long or like what it is. Or maybe it, it, like the forehead shape. Like he kind of looks like Forrest Gump a little bit or something. I don't know. It's like the narrow of his head looks weird. But... In this figure, you do get some great stuff. I mean, you get you get so many things going on with this figure. Of course, it is an Ultimate Edition, so double-jointed arms, double-jointed knees as we've seen in the past. The ankles are not going to be the crappy Elite 7, Elite 3 ankles that we have come to know with the John Cena figures. These are actually going to be newly tooled. They're going to have toe pivot on it. And it looks like this is probably going to be the best John Cena Elite standalone or Ultimate. I know it's an Ultimate, but... John Cena figure from Mattel, this is probably going to take the cake, but it is in the Royal Rumble 2008 attire. He comes with the WWE Championship. The armbands are actually molded, so they are not going to be painted on. And I think Bill might have mentioned something moving forward that every John Cena from here on out may end up getting this new tooling with the armbands, having that sweatband material on the wrist and the uh, upper arm. So that is something to take note of. You get the cloth shirt. You get the, the necklace, you get the interchangeable hands. I mean, this is a beautiful piece that I already have in my collection from a custom standpoint in an Elite, but adding it in Ultimate form will be awesome. And uh, I want to know what you guys think of that head sculpt down in the comment section below. I'd really be interested to know that. But finishing off our video, guys, we're going to dive into the Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch figure. And this one is very, uh, I don't know, this is different to me. It, it is just like the Ronda Rousey, okay? So it's just like the Ronda Rousey where it's going to have the interchangeable arms and little vest thing to have our jacket. So it's going to be in wrestling gear and entrance gear, much like we saw with Ronda Rousey. We saw it with Bret Hart. Not Bret Hart. Oh, yeah, we did get it with Bret Hart. We got it with Bret Hart. We got it with Shinsuke Nakamura. We've seen it with a couple or a few of the Ultimate Editions nowadays. But the uh, the main thing that I don't like about this figure is just the head sculpt. I don't know what it is to me. It just does not look like Becky Lynch. Am I the only one seeing that? Like, it may have a little bit of likeness to Becky Lynch. But when I look at this, I don't go, oh, yeah, hell yeah, that's, that's Becky Lynch. That's absolutely Becky Becky Lynch. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comment section below, but I like the attire. It's like the Bruce Lee-esque attire. I like the legs. I think this figure is going to be badass, just like the Ronda Rousey that we got, and it should be really fun 
to see when we get that going. But this Becky Lynch will probably be the best Becky Lynch, even though I do love the Elite 72. I'll probably put my Elite 72 head sculpt on this figure to make like an ultimate Elite-esque Elite 72 freaking Frankenstein effort of Becky Lynch to get all the articulation and the head sculpt that I like. But it is going to be Becky two belts. You got the Raw Women's Championship and SmackDown Women's Championship to go on your Becky Lynch figure. And I like it. I think it's going to be okay. It's going to have ankle pivot because it is an ultimate edition. I like the, the yellow and black and everything going on with it. And I think overall it is going to be okay, even though I don't see the likeness in the head sculpt. Let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. But that is pretty much all of the action figure leaked images and news for you guys that I have. I don't think Ringside's posted anything. I want to go do one more full check on it before we get out of here because I don't want to leave anything out. I think that's it. But this set... Standalone basic 110, pretty solid. I think it's pretty cool how you have all these different figures. The only stinker in the set would probably be John Cena. But overall, guys, I think that is going to do it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below, as well as go check out the Elite Series 77 Fiend review that we did yesterday. Very epic figure that I get, that I definitely want you guys to see the review. Got some cool editry in there and stuff like that. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys have a blessed day, blessed week, blessed weekend. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Check me out. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.